Okay, so I finally got the, my uh, iPhone to connect to iTunes. Um, I had three cords. Hold on, let me show you. I already had these two cords, and from watching, um, you know, uh, videos on YouTube. They said it could be the cord, so I went out and I bought this cord. This one is like a rope, type of rope material, but it's, you know, it's long. It's not like short like these two, and that didn't connect me to iTunes either. So I went through, um, I watched maybe five or six different videos on YouTube. Hold on, let me open my iPhone. Okay, so, like I was saying, um, uh, is it going to connect? Um, hold again. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, like I was saying, um, to back up I don't really want to back up so anyway um, I got the uh, phone connected and I'm going to show you what was missing from the instructions that all these guys gave on the, on YouTube okay so you've probably seen all the videos where they tell you to uh, right click on the start menu, should always do that. Right click on the start menu, and then you go to uh, device manager, right? And then what they were saying was they would say, go to uh, portable devices, and then they would say, uh, right click on there, and then update driver, right? And then search automatically. But every time I did that, I would get the same message that the best driver for the software was already installed. I would get, it's coming. Yeah, I would get this message, the best driver is already installed, right? So then a few other websites said to go down here Universal Serial Bus Controller, right? So I go there, but I never seen anything for Apple in here. So something told me, click this one. So I clicked that one, and I did see, you know, the thing for Apple. So I clicked on one of these, I right clicked on one of these, and then I click Update Driver, and it gave me the same message. Boom. So some say, okay, let me try the other one. I clicked on the other one. I mean, I right clicked on the other one and clicked update driver. And that one actually found a driver. So the other sites were only telling me to look in here and then look in here and click one of them. See, I see, I tried both of them. And that's how I got the iPhone connected to iTunes. So I don't even, I don't even think um, it was a cord, a cord, you know, the cord that did it. I think it was just that the drivers, the USB drivers for Windows wasn't uh, working. And that's it. I'm, I've been at this for almost two weeks. And luckily today, you know, I just kept trying. And I hope this helps someone. And if it does, please like and subscribe and share all over social media. I really need it. I'm trying to get my likes, I mean my views, and my, and me and my son rather. We're trying to get our views and uh, 
and the subscription is up so we can finally, you know, kind of monetize from this whole YouTube thing. Thanks for watching. Take care.